out and through that exercise also go back to those who are even legal but whose standards do not meet the minimum standard that we have set for ourselves and so we put in place um, a national task force who are starting from the greater Accra region and will move from here to other regions. By the end of June, we will have cleaned up the system. Now, for those whose standards do not meet the requirements, we will give them an opportunity to um, clean up their act. There are certain things that need to be put in place, and once they are able to meet those requirements, then they can be reopened for business. For those who are illegal, we will ask them to go through the due process of registration of their business. I mean, and when once you're registering, there are other agencies that are involved: uh, building permits, um, EPA permits, um, police reports of the operators, and all those things come to play. And so we will make sure that uh, by going through this enforcement exercise, we are uh, cleaning up the industry, we are cleaning up the sector, making sure that people who are operating are operating within the confines of the law. We will also be um, using this to throw lights on the other things that the tourism authority does. Per what the law says, every tourism establishment must collect a 1% levy from patrons. And that 1% is what goes into the Tourism Development Fund, which is used to for infrastructure development, for marketing of Ghana as a destination, for capacity building, and for investment. And we've seen that some operators are not complying. And so we've added the tourism levy to the items that the task force will be enforcing. And so once we, can, we go out there, those who are operating and are not doing the right things, even if you have uh, a license to operate and you are not doing what the law says, then you are falling foul of the law. And we will make sure that the facility is duly closed down. This week, we are covering the greater Accra region. And we will start for, from the 10th to the 7th. And we'll continue early next week with Tema, which per our administrative uh, arrangements we classify as a region. Tema going as far as Ada and its environment. And so we will have two days also there. Then we'll move from there to the central region. Obviously, with the activities that are coming up with the year of return and also Panafest and emancipation coming, we want to make sure that standards within the central region are also high so from the 12th to the 14th of june we'll be doing central region we'll move from there to western and then come to ashanti from the 18th to the 21st move to brongahafu from the 22nd to the 25th of june eastern from the 26th to the 28th of june volta from the 26th of june to the 2nd of july and then continue from there to the northern part of the country. And so within a space of 29 days, we will have covered the country, working very closely with the police team that the IGP has uh, graciously agreed to join us on the mission.